Hello Internet and welcome to my React installation video for Windows 10. I'm planning a large React tutorial series and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up everything I'm going to use in that tutorial series on Windows. If you are instead on Mac or on Linux, in the description you'll find a link to exactly the same video except for your chosen operating system. Also in the description, you'll find a link to all of the code used in this video, so you can just copy and paste to make sure you don't do anything wrong. And I have a lot to do, so let's get into it. All right, so the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is install Node. You just go to nodejs.org, and you're gonna click on this, and Node is just going to allow us to write server-side JavaScript, among many other things. You're gonna click on Next whenever the wizard comes up, accept the agreement, yes, leave everything in the default location, otherwise you might have issues. Click on Next, Next, and Install. After a little bit, it's going to finish, and you're gonna click on Finish. Now I'm gonna be using Atom, you don't have to, you can use Visual Studio Code, it will change absolutely nothing, but I'm using Atom. So if you want Atom, just go to atom.io and click on download. It will download itself and then it will open itself. And we're going to be opening a project here with it soon. But first, I am going to go in and make my directory. So inside of the command line in Windows, I'm gonna type in make directory react-tut, you can name it whatever you like, and then you can go and change to that directory. After that, you're gonna type in npm init, and this is going to create the package.json file, which is going to list all the packages your project is gonna require and make it easy for others to build your project. Basically, you're just gonna come down here and give it a name, otherwise it's gonna use the default inside of these parentheses. And you can see here, I just left everything for the most part with the defaults, except I put a description in here and the entry point is gonna be index.js, which is probably what you're gonna use. And I put my name in there and so forth. And this is what it is going to generate. And then finally, whenever it says, is this okay? Yes, just hit enter and everything will be set up. After that, again in the command line, but in your chosen directory we want to use here, you're going to type in npm i react, or you can type in install if, instead of i if you like to type more letters, then go for it. And this is going to, of course, allow us to create many dynamic user interfaces. After that, we're going to install Express. Again, look, look right there, I decided to use more letters this time, so npm install Express. And Express is a web framework that just makes it very easy to use Node, and so I chose to use it. Then I'm going to install Popper, which is going to be used to position tooltips and popovers in my tutorial. I also decided to install jQuery and just npm i jQuery and your chosen version followed with dash dash save. Going to install Bootstrap, which is going to make it easy to make responsive sites and it also provides numerous different components that I chose to use. Also going to use MongoDB, which is a NoSQL database. And in the description, I will put links to tutorials on MongoDB and other technologies that I have covered in the past if you want to take a look at those. Then you're going to type in dir, and what that's going to do is just show you all of your directories. And one new guy that is here is node underscore modules, which is going to contain many third-party dependencies we can use in our projects. And now I'm going to jump over into Atom. I'm going to click on open a project, and I'm going to go and select my project, which in this situation is react-tut, and click on select folder. I'm then going to come over and create a whole bunch of different folders. So I'm going to right click on React Tut, click on a new folder. I'm going to type in DIST for distribution. I'm going to come over again, right click on React Tut, new folder. This time I'm going to type in SRC and hit enter. I'm going to click on the DIST folder and click on new file. The first file I'm going to create is index.html, just hit enter. I'm going to select the source folder then and once again click on new file. And this one I'm going to call index.js. And here is our index.html file. And basically what's gonna happen is this div down here that is marked with the ID of app is where we're gonna be serving our React outputs. And bundle.js is gonna be generated by something we're gonna be installing here in a second called Webpack. And it's going to contain all of our bundle JavaScript, co uh, JavaScript code. So we better install Webpack. So I'm gonna type in npm i webpack dash dash save dash dev. And this is going to bundle all of our modules for us. Webpack CLI is going to be used to configure Webpack. And the Webpack development server is going to serve our application. Now we're gonna open up the package.json file and you're going to update it to use the development server. 
Then we're going to come in and install Babel. Once again, npm i and exactly everything you see here on the page. And it goes dash dash save dash dev without any spaces there. After we do that, we're going to come in and inside of our React Tut directory, we are going to create webpack.config.js. And then we're going to type exactly everything you have here. Like I said, in the description, I have a link to this file. You can just copy and paste to make sure everything is the same. You might have to change your directory structure a little bit if you didn't follow exactly what I did. But this is what we're going to type in the whole way down here. And then from file name down to development server, which is down to this line. And that is in webpack.config.js. And this is our current directory format. And you can see webpack.config.js right there. After that, we're going to come in and type in npmi react and react-dom, which are going to be our React packages we're going to need. And then after that, you're going to open up package.json and come in here. And this is going to allow everything to work properly with Babel. And then after you do that, to start your server and get everything up and running, you're going to type in npm start and hit enter. If you go to localhost colon 8080, you're going to see there is your website. And I'm going to go over now and write some code to get everything running a little bit better. All right. So I went and reorganized everything a little bit. Here is our uh, browser. Here is the command line with our server running inside of it. And here is the index.html file. I already told you what that does. I'm going to open up index.js now. And I'm just going to uh, go and write a little bit of React code. So I'm going to go import React from and react this is going to get our libraries that we need and then import again and i'll get cover this in more detail whenever i do the full react tutorial and react dom then what i want to do is create a couple react elements uh, that are going to be used as child elements and to do that you can just go var and i'm just going to call this hw1 is equal to and to create an element, you go react and create element. And I want these to be h3 tags. And null, where I have that, is normally where you would put parameters that you want to pass. And this is just going to say hello world. And then I'm going to do basically another one. And then I'm going to use these as child elements inside of a div, which we're going to display on our screen. So we can do it like this and leave this all the same. And then, and then I can go. Nice to meet you because that's what I did in the other tutorial and I want to keep them the same. Then to add our child elements to another element, I'm going to create a div and once again, react and create elements. And this is going to be a div, like I said, again, not passing anything to this attribute. And then I can just list as many child elements as I want and they will all automatically go inside of that div. So two and there we are you can throw semicolons on there of course and you can see right here the server is updating as i add all these different things which is very convenient and now i just need to render the elements into the browser so to do that i can just go react and dom render and then what i want to render which is going to be the div that contains the two child elements and then i just have to say where to render them to get element by id and remember, I had it with the name of app, which is right here. There's the ID. There it is. And whenever I hit save, it's going to update. There you go, guys. Hopefully you found this useful. The React tutorial will start very soon. And like always, please leave your questions and comments below. Otherwise, till next time. Also decided to install jQuery. I also installed...